Today we're going to work on tutorial to make a curved staircase. We're going to learn about a couple of different modifiers, which are going to be the array modifier. We're going to learn about the curve modifier. And we're also going to learn how to use the screw modifier. I got all the modifiers that currently attached to this object. We're not going to do that. I just want to show them in the right panel and what their names are. So first, to make a curved staircase, let's delete this object. Uh, we're going to want to shift A to add a mesh. We're going to add a cube. We're going to click on the X at the top corner so it kind of uh, snaps to the X axis. Hold down S, to hold down Z, and now we can scale on the Z axis to make a step. And to the oh, click S and Y to scale on the Y axis just a little bit. That's a little bit fat, so we're going to scale this on the X axis as well. That should be okay. We're just going to do a quick staircase, so it's not going to be perfect. So now if you want to switch between object and edit mode, hit the tab button, hit the number 2 to do edge select. So I'm going to select this edge, control R to do a loop cut, and I'm going to drag it up just slightly. Uh, hit 3 to do face select. I'm going to select this face, hit E to extrude, pull that out just a little bit. Now we kind of have that lip of the staircase. So our step is done. We can get a little bit more technical if we want. Let's do control uh, tab to go to object mode, control A, and um, apply the scale. Now, go back into edit mode. I'm going to select my edges that I want to bevel, just so this looks a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to hold down control and B, and then I kind of just drag out with my mouse. And then the center scroll wheel, I'm going to give it one extra loop. That should be good. And then we're just going to hit the right key on my mouse and then shade by angle. So it just looks a little bit nicer. So our step is done. So what I want to do is click on it and then hit H to hide. So the uh, next step is to do uh, Shift A. We're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a circle. And we're going to do the rung. Tab to go into edit mode. One, two. Just select our uh, vertices. I'm going to hold down shift and click on one vertice. Now I can delete all the rest. And then what I'm going to do is go to uh, snap to the X axis. I'm going to drag this over like that. And I'm also going to hold down the scale button so that this kind of becomes closer to what I want. I want the origin point to be kind of in the center of this with the edge right on the edge of that picture. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom. Go back into edit mode, collect my vertice, um, hit east to extrude. I'm going to just drag this up. Now you can get really technical here, but this is it's meant to be a short tutorial, so I'm going to move kind of fast so you can kind of get the general idea. And like that, we should have basic shape. Now we get to go to our modifiers tab by hitting this little wrench icon, add modifier, and we're going to add the screw. So there we go. Now it completes a nice looking spindle. We can go ahead and, oh, I meant to apply and I crossed it out. Apply. There we go. So now we can go Alt H to unhide the staircase. Um, let's move this up a little bit. I'm going to use the snapping tool. Go up here to where the little magnet is. Uh, do edge. Make sure that um, magnet is highlighted in blue. And now you can pull down and snap right to that edge there. And I think this should be closer to that edge. Now that's a pretty tall railing, so we're going to scale on the Z axis and kind of make it a little bit shorter. That should do just fine. 
And then lastly, we are going to shift A, add another mesh, and we're going to make sure it's a cube. Snap with the Y. Let's go up. And we can snap it there. Now we can scale on the Z axis a little bit. This will be the railing. And scale on the Y so it's kind of thinner. And scale on the X. There we go. So we now have the basis of our handrail. The, um, the spindle and the step. We're going to delete these faces. So just delete those faces. And there we go. Now what I want to do is select all three objects, Control J to join them. And now with our object selected, go into edit mode and add an array. So now what we can do is just adjust like the height a little bit. Um, and we want to move this backwards. And it's probably going to be like 1.9. Nope, 0.19. Try 0.7. There we go. So now we have the steps, the railings, and that's how you kind of go about adding these. Uh, what I usually will do is go back into edit mode, um, do wireframe. I'm going to highlight these edges. I'm going to pull those up, pull those down. I'm going to extend those out. And we're going to move these forward, down. Ta-da! Now you have a nice railing steps moving up perfectly. Now this is where it gets fun. We are going to add a curve object. So we're going to go to uh, curve and let's add just a simple a circle curve. We're going to scale that up and then go to edit mode. Um, now what we can do is click on our object here, or the step, click on curve modifier. Now we can select the circle. And if we increase the array, you'll see that we now have a nice spiral staircase. Now, if you want to apply all of this, all you have to do is first apply the array modifier, apply the curve, now this step is all one object, and because we're going to have overlapping vertices on the handrail, go into edit mode, make sure you select all your vertices, click M, and then merge by distance. And that usually will take care of it, but it looks like my vertices didn't snap. So we might have to click this at center center. Man, look, I make myself look like an amateur here. But that is, a, if you had snapped these together perfectly, merge by distance would have taken care of this huge problem, where now you have to just go grab each corner and merge at center. Not a big deal, but not a bad looking staircase, if I might say so myself.